Hello, in this class of GSM, we will study GSM signaling. So, in our previous class, we have discussed about various channels of GSM that are used for control, controlling or signaling purpose. And then we studied two identifiers which are used for signaling purposes. Now, let's start with the GSM signaling in which we require to draw a call flow. So, the basic entities as mobile station, BTS. BSC, then we have MSC, HLR, VLR, EIR, and AUC. So these are the databases which are required for signaling purpose. Now, as we had discussed that we already get three channels from the network. That channels are broadcast channel as BCCH, FCCH and SCH. Now comes the very first channel for request procedures that is RATCH or random access channel. After that we have access grant channel. This RATCH request access grant and then we have a channel and that is SDCCA channel. This SDCCA channel is standalone dedicated control channel. Now this channel is allocated for signaling purpose. Now all the signaling purpose will be processed with the help of SDCCH channel itself as this is my dedicated channel. Dedicated channel which is used for signaling purposes. So on SDCC channel, I have a request is request for IMSI. So my mobile station is forwarding its IMSI. Now it is the international mobile subscriber identity of this mobile station. Because I require to authenticate the user, so I require to pass a number and that is for authentication we have IMSI number. Now, VSA will forward this IMSI number with the message of location update. Now, this message as we had discussed is passed to HLR. So, location check. And accordingly, if I found the location, location checked. Otherwise, if I move the location in VLR, I have location update so in return message location updated that means two databases i have completed the signaling procedures with two databases as hlr and dl now comes the next that means to secure a person for security i require that mean my msc will ask my mobile station and this is request for Security key, which is denoted as KI. Now, my, my MSC is requesting my mobile station for a security key. So, I will start from here. So here is a request that request for security key. Now every operator sim has a memory and in that memory we have a stored key and that is authentication key. And all the same keys are stored in authentication center also. For example the key is 00, zero. this same key in the sim has been saved in the authentication center. Now my mobile station will forward security key like KI. Now this MSC will ask authentication center. It is also a request message. Now request for key match. 
so my msc is asking authentication center is communicating to authentication center and it is a request for key match now authentication center will match the key is 00 okay i have 00 if the key is 01 that mean external key but the key is not stored in authentication center so call will be disconnected signaling will be failure because in external person wants to communicate this is for this reason we have added authentication center so that we can validate the user request for key match after we matching key key matched remember this is a 3d it is communicating simultaneously that's why in very short duration of time each and every person location updation key and all components as we require to represent on a board with the lines so that's why it taking some time so key matched after that my msc will ask my eir request for list check now request for what is there in list check actually in eir we have divided the user into category of three list as white list black list and gray list so our uh, we have divided our users into three list black black white and gray in white list i have all normal users paying their bill on time and no complaints in black list i can say i have blocked users and in gray list i have access denied users for example some users have incoming of some users as outgoing blocked by the network so all the users are categorized into three list so my msc will ask eir equipment identity registers to check the list and then accordingly process for example a user eir has checked the number and the number is registered in blacklist so call will be disconnected here only now if the user in gray list so it will check the whether i have to block incoming or outgoing or what service is denied or sms are denied so if the user now like for example the user is in white list so here is the message white list now all my verification has been completed now here at this end my verification is completed that means authentication of this mobile station is complete but signaling is not completed because we require to attach a call here at this representation i have not attached another mobile station i just started that how signaling occurs now what i will do that i will attach another mobile station now this one will serve my mobile station 1 and mobile station 2 now in this case mobile station 1 requires to call to mobile station 2 mobile station 1 is calling mobile station 2 because i require to complete my signaling purpose so to complete your signaling purpose we require two mobile stations so after verification my msc will ask my mobile station and this is request for msisdn now where to call please now provide me you are an authenticate user you are a validate user now i require to connect your call to another person now please provide me the contact number so in return what's the number you have dialed will be reached to msisdn this number will be reached to msc now msc will do a function here and the function is known as pre analysis and this is also known as digit analysis pre analysis or digit analysis now what is pre analysis or digit analysis like 
we have studied the composition of MSISDN. Like it has MSC ID, it has HLR ID, and then serial number. So in this case, MSC required to find the MSC ID and HLR ID. Why? The re case represented here on the board. I have taken only BSC. B, same BTS, same BSC, same MSC and mobile station. That means maybe you are calling from within your home. You are registered in the same location at the same MSC. So that's why I have only one MSC, same databases. So in digit analysis, MSC will locate like, okay, this is the MSC number, same MSC, same, uh, same HLR. So it will form a paging message. So after location, it will go a paging message or paging to mobile station 2. When your paging starts, there is a processor and that processor is ringing. When I locate it, you paging starts, that means your phone starts ringing that here is a call for you. At this time, when your ringing starts, your MSC will command your mobile station to release as DCCH because now this dedicated channel all these functions are on a channel and that one is SDCC channel so now release as DCCH when person has just picked the call then I have a channel between two and that is basically the time slot and a channel which is traffic channel because when a person has picked the call, now the person will require to communicate. So I require to transmit bits or receive bits. So that channel is traffic channel. So TCA channel. So in the last, when a person pick up the call, I have a channel between us and that channel is TCH or traffic channel. So this is just the call flow or a signaling procedure in which we have shown that all what is there in beep 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 whenever we call to somebody and what is how signaling and traffic channel will be connected to a user so always we if we require two identifier to locate a user and to authenticate a user and that identifiers are MSISDN and IMSI. Now, the case we have discussed is under the same MSC, like okay. What happens now? We will discuss that what happens when the person is not registered in the same MSC. That means you have to call from one MSC to another MSC. So, in this case, we will discuss two MSCs. Like uh, this is mobile station one, this is under BTS one, BSC one, and then MSC one. So, that means this is one area. Now we require to call MSC2 under this BSC2, BTS2 and mobile station 2. So I require to change my MSC ID. So the contact number like under CISGN1, I don't require its MSISDN like 991521121. One, but the MSISTN of 2 is 98151-11211. So, MSI. Now you have moved from one MSE to another MSE. So, you can see that these codes are changed. Now, when my MSE will have if ID or digit is 99. But the contact number it received for digit analysis, it received 98. 
so that means this msc has to contact its vlr its vlr because all the addresses are saved in vlr so it will ask the vlr that please provide the address so vlr then will locate msc2 and call will be processed from one end to another end i can say that this is a uh, case when you are calling from one msc area to another msc area but both MSCs can communicate to one another until unless one number are exchanged between them. And that number is known as MSRN. That means I can say that if I require a communication between two MSCs, so I require a number for communication and that number is roaming number. So here is my MSC1. So MSC1 requires to communicate to MSC2. So they will, that means both MSCs will communicate to one another whenever they have a number between them, exchanged between them. And that number is provided by VLR. And the number is known as MSRN. Now MSRN. MSRN is Mobile subscriber or mobile subscriber roaming number. And this is not particular to the MSCs. This is particular to the mobile station. That means if I have five calls between two MSCs, so five different different MSRN number will be required for connectivity. So that means it is not that MSC1 if required to communicate to MSC2, we require MSRN number. Mobile station one. Under MSC1 requires to communicate to mobile station 2 under MSC2. So for connection between the both MSCs, I require a number and that is MSRN number. And this is all, this is a temporary number. We have discussed MSISTN which is a permanent number. And we have discussed IMSI again it is a permanent number. But this one is a temporary number. Temporary number allocated for connection and after connection it will be released and may be allocated to another one who require so that means it will be allocated for making connection and after connection it will be released and i can reuse that number for another one so that's why this msrn number is temporary no fixed composition and because as it is a temporary number it is a certain set of digits which are used for connection between two MSCs. So, we will discuss the quad flow between two MSCs in our next class. This is all for today's lecture. Thank you so much.